What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing New World and I wanted to show you some of the stuff I've been doing. Specifically my fishing route and what you can do with fishing now that uh, the music buff exists. And if you are familiar with fishing, you might know this already, but this just makes what you know even better. Um, there was a video that came out by Five Head Gaming explaining this, which if you haven't seen it already, definitely go check it out. Super good, very detailed. Uh, this will just be a demonstration of my route and of what he talked about uh, in effect. So uh, my fishing route, I start in Shatter Mountain, go to this outpost and fish this secret fishing spot. Big spout. I don't know, four minutes, five minutes. Uh, then I teleport back to uh, any house or whatever, and then teleport to this outpost, and then go to this secret fishing spot in the Great Glee. So along the way, uh, I'd say half the time, the star medal's here. Uh, so go ahead and get the star medal. There's a little bit on the way, uh, a few extra resources on the way to the first fishing spot as well. So you're going to go ahead and do that because star metal, super good, usually sells quite well and it's totally worth your time picking up. I just gathered those two. So you're going to go on down. It's a pretty low level zone so you can kill the stuff along the way. These cats drop thick leather, uh, leather so like pretty good to get. Uh, there's some turkeys along the way too. A couple of, couple of trees if you're interested in trees. But mainly we just want to get to the fishing spot um, along the way. There are some more star metal notes. Feathers have gone up in price, so sometimes I kill a turkey. Oh my god, is this kid going to try to... Oh, 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 oh. He totally could have got it. He's gonna get the medium one too, but that's fine. Looks like he's in a mining set, so I don't think he'd be competing for the fishing hole, which is what we really care about. So as you can see, we have a buff. Gather luck increased by 5% for 90 minutes for a musical performance. So uh, I think that's the best reason to level up music which is why I did it and once you hit 150 you can just cast the buff on yourself by playing whatever song you like and you get 500 fishing luck or that's what five percent is it's like 500 on their scale um so we're gonna go on down here usually it's covered in all these portals but you don't have to worry about that you can just walk around it um, or kill them or clear them if you want corrupted portal stuff, but I don't even know what that stuff does, so. If the goats run the right way, you can use them to run faster with the great axe. Same with the turkey. This whole route takes, I don't know, 10, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe less. Depending on how much of the side stuff you get, so you just use the goat to run faster. Oh, sometimes the game glitches out like that and you just fly forward when you roll, which is also pretty cool. Now this fishing hole it takes longer to get to, and there's a higher chance it's been fished up, at least on the server I'm playing on. I think uh, people quest in this zone a little bit more than the other zone, but it looks like it's here now. So, goats might try to come back and attack us. Now, one thing I will mention is that it's hard to tell if it's daytime or nighttime before you go to these two zones. So, before you get there, Definitely check and equip the appropriate fishing pole. Um, because 
for this farm, you need the most possible luck that you can get. So, uh, nice, we got a legendary. If you've seen the video, or if you already know, if you have maximum luck, which means three trophies, it means you have the highest tier luck bait, it means you have lucky waters three on all of your fishing gear, and you're using uh, the best possible type of fishing pole, and you have luck on your fishing pole, then you will have a very high chance Written it down over here, I think. So if you have everything except the music buff, which this again, this is all in uh, the other guy's video, very good video, you should totally watch it. Um, if you have everything but the fishing buff, it's a 34.6% chance to catch legendary fish. Otherwise, you're gonna get a chest. And if you have the fishing buff. And that bumps it up to a 41% chance to catch a legendary fish. So almost half the time, uh, you're going to get a legendary fish, which is huge. Um, so uh, I don't know how much it's going to be on your server, but these legendary fish, the lava barb and the blue wing serp, sell for about 500 to 700. Uh, on this server. Now, this might not be the price of the fish for long because with Brimstone Sands, they're coming out with new food. But for now, uh, for the like 15 minutes it takes to do this, uh, and you get 41% of the time something that sells for 500 to 700 uh, coins, it's a pretty lucrative farm. Um, even the chests aren't bad. You get about one or two platinum, which sells for like six each. So, out of 20 fish, you're gonna get uh, for, uh, almost 10 legendary fish. Eight legendary fish, approximately. Um, so you can do the math. Uh, it's a decent amount of coin for not that much time. And the biggest investment is leveling up your fishing, and by investment, it's just investing your time. You don't have to use any uh, you know, fancy instruments or whatever. I, I bought a bunch of instruments just because, you know, whatever, they're cool. Um, we try to, if, you, if you're going to uh, get a fancy one, get one with like the exponent on it. Yeah, so, I mean, this is just amazing, right? Like, a 41% chance to get legendary. Uh, when legendaries are this expensive and these pools respawn 40 to 90 minutes, if you log in, you know, you're, you're work from home, you don't have much time to play, got 10, 20 minutes to play, this is a great farm uh, for you. Because a lot of people don't like coming out to these pools, um, which is why these fish are so expensive. A lot of people don't like leveling fishing, uh, so if you like fishing and you want to, I think this might be the best gold per hour for fishing. Uh, maybe oyster farming is similar, but that you only get around a 20 something percent chance of catching oysters with the optimal setup. Uh, this is like 41% chance to get a lot of money and then 59% chance to get decent money. Uh, by decent, I mean like 70 times less money, but it's still pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at what we got and then we can end this video. Uh, okay. So what do we got? We got seven lava barbs, four blue wing serps, uh, 19 chests. So this this must be what is that? 19 plus yeah. So it's uh, 30 casts. We got 19 chests and uh, 11 of the legendary fish. So obviously probability chance over time. 
I'm pretty sure I came out the first 10. I'm pretty sure I didn't have the right pole equipped or I didn't pay the property tax. So one of the trophies might have not been live, which is why I think I also have a piranha randomly, um, which isn't bad, but it is not one of these. So yeah. So my thoughts going forward is that this is really good for fishing. Fishing has been like basically nerfed uh, into almost useless until the musical instruments came out uh, where pearls went way up in price um, you know getting chests 65 percent of the time not that cool most of the legendary fish are bad but like if you do these two pools uh, or if you do the pools in cutlass keys uh, this pool is very quick quick to get to uh, this pool I haven't found a great route to but maybe the, you know taking this uh, fast travel or that fast travel, but I find all these are almost always fished on my server, so I just don't go there anymore um, for pearls <clears throat> Pearl farming in five head uh, Gaming's video he suggests uh, just use your your regular gear uh, For pearl farming due to the way the loot thresholds work What did I just put on? Uh, Uh, do this and then just use an age wood fishing pole no bait and no luck on the pole i got this one because i had azoth extractor so that was weird I don't, i've never seen a pole with that uh, but it could just be a white pole too and this will give you the highest percent chance to catch blue fish out of a three star pool so that's for catching oysters if um, you don't have all the luck you need for the legendary fish setup this will still get you oysters at, I think it's like 20 something percent of the time. So that's oysters on my server sell from like 200 for pristine up to 600 for a brilliant. I don't know how long that's going to last. So, uh, and it fluctuates uh, a bit. So, uh, yeah, give it a try. If you like fishing. I hope this is interesting to you because it's interesting to me that this is even possible. I can't think of anything else in the game that's like this, where you have such a high chance at a legendary thing from the gathering professions. Um, and if they ever come out with anything else for fishing, that increases luck. Or if in Brimstone Sands there's a bunch of, if I don't know, some fishing poles with like other legendary fish or something. This is gonna give fishermen a huge buff. I, I think Brimstone Sands over here. So like, it's, it's a pretty powerful tool to have if you're a fisherman, and I definitely suggest you know farming up to get the trophies, get the fishing gear. Uh, I bought some of it because the fishing quest gave me I think worse like gloves or and no boots or something. But yeah, I think it's really fun. Uh, after this. I usually just teleport back over here and sell my fish and then either go do something else or you know try to get my expertise up but uh yeah that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed this uh fishing supplemental and i'll see you next time take it easy